All right, so we're at home doing our thing. So we are gonna clean out the washer. And what we have, like everybody else has, is this moldy little ring stuff. Um, it's just kind of nasty. All right, so we are going to try a few different things. We are going to put some baking soda and some white distilled vinegar and some bleach into this container. And we're gonna make a little paste. And we're gonna put this in the drum of the washing machine. That's funny. Stop. We're gonna take this paste, do this, then we're going to clean this little tray out. And then the the little we didn't know about this about a year ago. This little thing with of all the crap that gets down in there, we're gonna clean that out and we'll show you how to sort of do all this. We're doing a bunch of home improvement projects since we're here and we've got stuff. I actually went and sprayed in the garage. There's a little gap between the concrete and the wood and I filled that with some uh, spray. So we're gonna do a bunch of little things here over the next few days, but let's work on this today. So this is the drain filter kind of thing here. And uh, you have to clean it out every once in a while, but you need to really protect because water comes gushing out. So towels and everything. This is the first time we've tried the tray, but um, this is where lint and coins and a bunch of crap gets all caught up. Oh, it's going beyond the tray. What? Hang on. So no matter what you do, water's gonna go everywhere. Tray didn't do a whole lot. So just be ready with a lot of towels. It goes everywhere, it leaks underneath. Really didn't have a whole lot in our filter, just that little gunk, so. But you can wash this in the sink. Ours is actually pretty good because we've been doing it regularly. You do need to do this about every six months, but we probably did ours about three months ago. We just wanted to be able to show you what kind of what it looks like. That gunk off there, it's pretty clean. Put it back in. So we made the paste here and we're gonna try to line this in here and see. We got this old paintbrush. We're gonna try to put it on here. We'll see how this works. We've never been able to get all of the mold off of the drum section of this washing machine. So we're trying a few extra hacks that we've seen online and see if it works. So we applied it the best we could getting it to stay there. We're gonna let it set for a little bit. But then we're gonna take some of this and dump in here. We're gonna put it in there so that it'll run through stuff. Then you can just let it rotate around. So there's a little tab back here to release it. And just slides right out. But there's just this mold and things. And let's get a shot up in there and see what that looks like pretty nasty in there. Is it? Yeah. So I'm just gonna use a disinfectant wipe to kind of tidy it out, clean it out. Um, probably could just use any old kind of moisture towel type thing. All right, so we're gonna pull all of these parts out. I'm gonna hand wash as much as I can. All these kind of pop out. And then you can see the mold right there. So I'm just gonna rinse this guy off. Ew, there's more back there. So I'm actually gonna just get some actual dishwashing soap, hot water. This side here has been cleaned out on the inside, but then, can you see that in there? That side has not been done. So, this brush actually worked quite well. I 
Voila. And then this side will get done. That's good. Lower a little paste. Okay, just rinse it and put it back in. All right, we're gonna put that back in. Super easy. Now we're gonna put some vinegar and some bleach in these compartments. We're gonna put some bleach back here and some vinegar right here. Huh. All right, so right before we're starting the washer, we're gonna go ahead and scrub this. It's been sitting here for a little bit. Is it coming off, Jace? I don't know, it's hard to know. Not much light down here to know what's working and not working. But we're gonna scrub it in a little bit and then we're gonna start the washing machine and we're gonna run it on the longest and hottest cycle possible. Hmm. Maybe it's working. Ooh, right there, it kinda did. Yeah, I think it might be You working. can see the line from one side to the next. The right side versus the left side. And then below it. All right, so we're gonna show you a before Scrubbing did of this good. whole area. It actually cleaned it fairly good. Yeah, I think so. It's not the best yet, but I, we're gonna run a cycle now and we'll let you know what it looks like after. All right, the cycle better. is done. Way better, we need to wash that stuff out. Just yeah. so it doesn't affect laundry, but that's much better. Yeah, you can't even see any black or mole or anything right there. So yeah, we'll take a towel and wipe out. The excess paste. Yeah. Pretty good job. It's much better than I expected. So I guess that whole concoction works pretty well. There's always little cracks and crannies you can never get to, but that definitely made it better. And I guess it'll smell better too. But now we're gonna wash all the towels and everything we took to do the project. <laughs> Also, leave your washer open after every cycle to yeah. dry it out. This part gets all wet and damp, and if you shut it, it just helps mold. But it also, that's how the mold grows inside there. Thanks for watching, and keep coming back because we're going to have a lot of more stuff while we sit here in quarantine. I'm really coming up with some things to do because I'm really getting bored. <laughs> and I love it because we're getting stuff done. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and come back for more. Bye, guys. Bye.